There is a movie called Ready Player One. There's a man called Halliday. He's like a multi-multi-billionaire. He makes this sweepstakes that says, if you go on this treasure hunt and find my uh, Easter egg, then you can inherit my fortune that I've made through this video game company. He's hidden this egg. Yes, he's hidden this egg. Trillion dollars, sweepstakes for the world. Steven, could I do this? Yes. I can. So sweepstakes actually is governed by its own thing, a sweepstakes law. So yeah. what, what you can, um, you can have a will or a, a, a will, a trust, uh, even like a foundation or, some, or something set up that gives money to people who find um, whatever, gives money to people who win treasure hunt. Okay. Um, and now it's a virtual treasure hunt. Does that matter? No. Okay. Um, I mean, as long as you have a clear, ascertainable task, mm -hmm. like finding the thing, um, and it's a real egg, if you're just having people search for a fake object, it might not fly as much. So it's a it's a virtual egg. It's like a as I mean, much as a as much as, as, as a sword it, in Skyrim but it's would like, be real. But, but it's findable, right? It's not made up. What do you mean? I mean, it's, it's not like a created egg. Like, no, well, they right. wrote it in code. Well, but, but, but that I mean, but theoretically, someone could virtually find it. Yes. Okay. But it's not like it's not like he just lied. Or if I told someone no, no, that no. it's like gold under my driveway, yeah, and they dug into my driveway and there was no gold, yeah. that would be a problem. Um, that would probably lapse. Um, but for the most part, though, as long as you're not abridging people's rights, you can put language into a will or a trust that allows people to do that. So you can tell people they have to accomplish certain tasks to get it. Like the most common task might be like, grad I won't give money to my kids until they graduate from an accredited college. Uh, as long as it's possible, like your child doesn't have like special needs or is, is not capable of it, then it's a fine enough like um, bequest. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot abridge someone. You can't say you can't make them marry somebody. You can't make them change religions. Um, you can't make them like harm themselves. Like you can't say if you cut off your thumb, I will give you <laughs> money. Um, I mean. The most courts would strike that line from the will if it is um, over the line. But so, it's still, I mean, that I mean, to me, I immediately jump to, oh my god, I want to make as much money as I possibly can so that I have a massive estate, so that I can make some sort of weird contest to like impact the world in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can <laughs> literally. I mean, you can have positive things like you can make yeah. people. Okay. If you if you're like give the money to a person that like a board of people you set up determines is like the best idea to lower carbon in the air or yeah. something, you can make like you can you can have a purpose to it. Okay. Um, just don't make it one that makes people think you're an asshole. Okay. Because um, even if it was an admissible purpose, um, so what about like also a hot way dog eating say, contest? <laughs> Same. Like, you can make people win a holiday. I mean, they don't have to enter it if they don't want it. Right. You can be like a million dollars. People can – you could be like, I'm going to have a hot dog contest in three months from the date of my death. So yes. you have time to train up. Good okay. luck. And um, then the person that wins gets to have Probably. My... In most states, I think they think that was fine. That's um, – are you – you say that like it's not a big deal. I can have a, a I, hot dog eating contest with yeah, entrants from all it, over. It, it, yeah, That's you, awesome. You can fund the contest. Yeah, I mean, Hell they, yeah. I mean, I mean, corporations do it all the time. Yeah, I, mean, I guess you're right. You can you can fund the company to make people do things. Like if you see people do it outside the context of the will of their states, you can almost certainly do it in your will. Okay. Like you don't see many people bribing people to marry people of your their religion or the switch religions. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That would be weak. that would be a thing. Like I mean, or. But yeah, stuff like that. But you, you, if you see it happening in real life, you can probably see it happening in a state. It's cool. like a loose structure, though. Other other questions about this particular, uh, you know, fiction thing. So so um, this contest lasts for years and years and years, and um, you know, I mean, a large percentage of the world's wealth is tied up in this guy's estate. Um, so you know, what what it's types less of than things? Ideal. It, it is less than ideal. Um, so, so what type of? Let's say I am this Halliday individual, and I'm going to you know tie up my money and make sure it's untouchable. Who might come after my money? Um, and and what things can I do to make sure that they don't well, get access to if it? If he's already dead, um, he would probably have either an executor or a trustee 
um, tasked with securing the funds. Um, if he's still alive, I mean, he still has all the same responsibilities as before. I have not known anything about this person. He seems like a sociopath or a narcissist. Um, but like kind um, of a little bit of both. He's like he's like this like shut in guy. He's he's kind of like Steve Jobs, but like nerdier. I don't know what kind of person would do this. <laughs> <laughs> would hoard the world's wealth and then make people dance like lap dogs <laughs> to get it. Well, or to convince their whole or to or to do an insane amount of labor. He's also like a philanthropist in the book. He like funds like public education and like the whole education system is free uh. throughout the world and stuff and um he wants to i mean the idea is like he uh i think he also gives a bunch of scholarships and stuff or no that's his like partner i don't know i'm a okay nerd. i love this book um okay i'll look at it i, I might great. be too hard on it <laughs> <laughs> but anyway okay cool so so this is totally possible um the executor uh would kind of make sure nobody gets any of the cash or anything um, mm -hmm. You know, nobody comes after the money. Does he, you know, does anybody have a claim like, hey, this is like a benefit for the world if we have access to this money, so therefore the government should let us have access to this money. Mm -hmm. is, is that possible? Could somebody yeah. make an appeal to yeah, the you can, court? You can, yeah, you could. Um, I would run that by me one more time. So, so let's say, oh, you know, I mean, basically the United States government is the one who is enforcing that, you know, we're not going to touch this money because it's in this man's will. Um, could I say, hey, this is against the common good, right? I am a third party lawyer. I've never, I've heard about this contest. I think this is number one bad for the world. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore I think that you should release these funds and instead put it towards a government program to support housing and things. You could do, that's, so constitutionally, you're a Allow, the government can pass a law after this dude dies and says we're just taking his money. This is insane. We're gonna we're gonna retroactive in the United States. You can retroactively tax somebody. Mm -hmm. um, it's not great, and people don't do it as far as public policy that much. But you can retroactively tax people all the time. Um, the only thing you can't do is retroactively can create crimes. So I can't like you can't make something illegal that wasn't illegal. You can't make anything I did yesterday illegal and then arrest me for it. But with the money, for the most part, you can. And I would – this is probably reading too much in my own politics. But they, if they have – he's dead and he's hoarding a trillion dollars. <laughs> you need to get the money. Yeah. Um, and balance the budget and invest it. And literally, if did nothing else, the government should probably just take all that money and give it away in checks to everybody and to be better off for the economy. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that potentially... I would, this would be where I, like my inner... I'm not even a communist, but this is where you would want to <laughs> bring out the pitchforks. <laughs> potentially, though, you're saying that the U.S. government might have incentive to be like, hey, you know, we're going to write a law that... You oh, there are so many incentives. Yeah. This, if, you're, if your entire economy is subsumed in a treasure hunt, yeah, yeah you want to you wanna really diversify it. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's depressing. I love, that, I love that the Ron Swanson one is possible, but like the... This Ready Player is, One. This one, one is, is possible. I just don't like it. it I would. I don't even want to run for public office. But I would run for public office for the sole purpose of taxing this thing. Yeah. I, that would all. I, that, would, that would be my entire like vision for the world is to not have one person <laughs> dick have around with everybody dollars. for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Having said that, it's probably a good book. No, but, it's a great uh, book. It's in real life, book. it's one of those things that might not be great in real life. Yeah. Cool. Um, you know, I actually never even thought about it from that context. That's super true that, like, yeah, I never even thought about, oh, yeah, Halliday, the, that guy might be an asshole for doing that. <laughs> I was just like, oh, cool, it's a treasure hunt. He's a wizard. Like, this is sick. You know, I tell people things about things I like. It's like, oh, no, that he sounds like an asshole. <laughs> like, I don't think I don't think that was that nice. I'm like, talking about, like, The Office or any of my favorite TV shows. Like, this yeah. person sounds like a lunatic. Why yeah. would you? Why Michael, is Michael Scott's Scott actually a dick. Like, why has yeah. he not been fired? He is a terrible. <laughs> Terrible employee. I love it. Yeah. Cool. All right. That brings us to the close of the segment. Could I do this? Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable. I'm um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404. 738-9538 and you can also leave us an email at the address below.